The gospel creates movement, dark to light, death to life. It bears fruit, insatiable in its ambition. Global movement is a necessary consequence, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In Jerusalem, AD 30, Jesus died on the cross, resurrected on the third day, and then ascended into heaven. 50 days after his resurrection, the Holy Spirit fell on the apostles, and the movement began. In AD 42, Mark brought the gospel to Egypt. In AD 49, Paul went to Turkey and then to Greece. And in AD 52, Thomas left for India. The movement advanced. In AD 174, the first Christians were reported in what is now Austria. In AD 280, the first rural churches emerged in Italy. And by AD 350, nearly 32 million Christians inhabited the Roman Empire. In AD 432, St. Patrick spread the gospel to Ireland. In AD 635, the first Christian missionaries arrived in China. And in AD 900, missionaries first set foot in Norway. The movement advanced further. By the year 1200, the Bible was available in 22 languages. In 1498, Kenya's first Christians were baptized. From 1555 to 1562, 2,000 churches were planted in France. By 1740, on the heels of the Great Awakening, 80% of Americans were involved in a local church. By 1890, Charles Spurgeon helped plant 200 churches in Britain, also sending planters to Australia, South Africa, and the Americas. And by 1985, after 25 years of missionary church planting, South Korean Christians grew tenfold to over 6.5 million. And on and on it goes. God accomplishing exactly what he said he would accomplish in Genesis 12, 3. All the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you, but it cannot stop with us. We must be willing to move forward for the glory of God and the good of the church. Today, Acts 29 has facilitated the planning of over 500 churches across six continents. And we have developed a global action plan to profile the scope of our work all around the world. There are six points, together they spell action. And we have asked members of Acts 29 from all around the world to explain. We're a global network with a global mission. We are moved and inspired by the Lord of all creation who declared it in the Old Testament and demonstrated it in Jesus. He said it would be a direct consequence of his spirit coming in power. He creates missionaries. It's what the spirit does. Because we are a global network, we will continue to become increasingly diverse racially, ethnically, and socially. This diversity provides a glorious expression of God's grace among us. Let's celebrate this. Si nous voulons être dans la multiplication des églises, cela va nous coûter très cher. Cette vision globale aura un grand impact sur nos choix de d'évaluation, de partenariat d'investissement de nos ressources. Pasha Satchani Vivrinch to make Adu Satchani Srujistundi. Ivishani Sampradayal Nu Itra Sampradayal Nan Srinche Varmachan Yesu Aneka Pariyal Ruzu Chesed. Yes, in November in Chitwante, President Premista, Vari Nepal Chim Verena, Vari Samasilu, Manakuna Samasil Vante Vikakpuina, Vari Yerla Dai Chupinsta. Itra Prantalu Leda Deshal Nu Manabahiranga Sambashan Lo Yeti Chupali. Tudo vai funcionar melhor quando tudo está funcionando juntos. Por causa disso, nós estamos construindo tudo, inclusive a nossa estratégia de liderança e também comunicação, numa forma onde a gente vai continuamente melhorar. O Itana e Banderina Tango, Babeti, Masolo, Basapolaki, Namuia. Maema Sengeri Koyokama, Koyekurama, Pe Ko Kanisama. 
yango tina nini to sengeli ko beta masolo ya lisanga na biso na bisika lokola Madrid, Melbourne, Morocco, Montana pe Montreal. How awesome. The church is not accidental or irrelevant to God's purposes. It is what he's about. So when we're committed to church planning, we're committed to God's mission. His ambition is insatiable. His plan is global and his movement is advancing.